Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And she's actually sitting in on a WotC video, a Wizards of the Coast video. Well, because mostly because of Hasbro. We're going to talk about Hasbro. We're going to talk about the Pinkerton Thugs. This is beautiful, though. This is this is karma. This Their is beauty body painting. I applaud you. Um, yeah. So this is uh, this is a very very funny take on the situation. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, we did a video about it the other day, and everybody's talking about this right now. Wizards of the Coast sent Pinkerton thugs. Google the Google the Pinkertons. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Sent them to a YouTuber's house to threaten him because he got some magic cards early. That they that he paid for and they sent him. Apparently. That was my apparently. understanding. His story is he basically, they sent him the wrong case or whatever, whatever his dealer is, but they sent the Pinkertons, which are a, a private security firm. They're basically thugs for hire. And- Are you and, allowed to say that? They're gonna come to your house. No, everybody. And we'll film it and put it on the internet. <laughs> yeah, we'll film it, put it on the internet. There's not much they can do about it. They don't have a warrant. They're not actually the police. They're just intimidating. Which is probably why they sent them because the police were like, they're you, Over your own fault. It's the your own fault. The police are probably like, wait, what's this about? Some silly dragon cards? What the hell are you on about, Hasbro? What is going that are on? They're coming out in less than a month anyway. They're coming out in less than a month. So yeah, this became a whole big thing. It blew up on Gizmodo. And I think it was, uh, I want to say Linda, Kodega, who I actually, I gotta tell you, I have a lot of respect for her. Now she's the one I believe that was kind of leading the charge against Watsy with the OGL changes. She was kind of sounding the alarm on the OGL changes. And she's the one who put the story up about the, the Pinkertons and they actually did reach out to Hasbro and it gets worse. Um, apparently Hasbro has connections to the Pinkertons, company connections, and they've used them before to threaten fans over stuff. This is this so is, stupid. This is a toy company. This is not an isolated incident. So I just want to. I just they threaten people when they are mad about potato heads. I don't know, maybe because you know you're, you if you don't like our our new potato people. <laughs> our potato person. We will make sure we have send someone to speak to you. Use that potato person's proper pronouns. We're gonna send somebody to your house to rough you up. Go ahead, Karen. Ask to speak to our manager. <laughs> uh, Yo, know, so that's the thing. That's what's so shocking about this. This is a toy company, a toy company that tries to project a family friendly image. <laughs> It's so funny when you think about it. Using, oh, I mean, God. this is a, this is a freaking Coen Brothers movie waiting to happen. It, it is, isn't it? It's like, look at our potato people. Aren't they so great? We're all about making everybody inclusive and being happy. But if you don't do the right, we want you to. We're going to send our hired guns to harass you, to threaten you, intimidate oh you. God, yeah. To buy our toys. This is yeah. This is this is absolutely insane. Uh, I got to tell you, I can't support this company anymore. I was already on the rocks with them as a, a long time Transformer and G.I. Joe collector. The quality and their toys has dropped off a cliff. I've seen this company make some really iffy decisions over the last couple of years. And look, it's very clear, especially with Chris Cox in charge, that they're interested in being a video game or mobile app company and not interested in being a toy company. In fact, they're licensing a lot of their toys out to other companies like Basic Fun and um, who does the Integrity Toys? They do the Gem Dolls. And yes, I wish I need more of them, but they're yeah, so yeah. expensive. I want them they're so. Truly outrageous. I they're... need to get my original gems too. I, I only have a Synergy and a, and a Rock and Curl gem, but I really, really want to You had a lot at one point. I do, but I want them, so I have to get good dolls. Anyway, look, Sorry, I was distracted. And they need to bring back Little's Pet Shop, too. I don't think they're, I, I don't think Hasbro's in the toy business anymore. I don't think they're interested in toys. I think they're interested in becoming a, a video game giant or a media. Obviously, well, I don't think that's going to happen for them. Obviously, they're not going to become media giants because they had some success with the early Transformers movies until they started to fall off a cliff. And then we saw the last G.I. Joe movie bombed. Uh, D&D was kind of a flop. It wasn't an outright bomb, but it's not going to make its money back. The new Transformers movie does not look good. I'm surprised they didn't send the Pinkertons after you when you questioned the first Transformers movie. <laughs> yeah, so... They sent the producer after you the, instead. Oh, yeah, so funny <laughs> funny story. Funny story. Uh, we've been bitching about stuff on the internet for years, mm -hmm. and I've been kind of targeting Hasbro for years, despite being a huge fan of their stuff for the longest time. But, uh, yeah, I got in trouble back in the... What was it? 2006 or whatever... Um, when the first movie was coming out. When the out, first movie came the out. Michael Bay movie. And they dropped the designs for Megatron. 
And I was the guy, bitch, and I wasn't like scathing. No, I'm, you wrote a very well worded, and he even blog. even told you that it was he, he picked on you because it was the best, it was best written one. So I wrote a blog post, basically being like, "What the, the you know?" Why does Megatron have a pussy for a face? Why does he have a vagina face? Because it's like it's a, like Transformers fans. I mean, it was a bait and switch. And they they showed the G1 Optimus Prime. We expected Bumblebee truck. and got that. We expected, but and we got Megatron that looked like just a monster from any you know Terminator movie or whatever. And, um, yeah, so I got into it with the producer back and forth, whatever. And then later well, we the producer up, harassed you first. He did. But then we wound up kind of, he kind of apologized and. But don't tell anybody I apologize. Don't tell. I'm t it's been how many years now? Yeah. But he told you not to tell anybody he apologized. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't think he's, I, I personally don't think he's that bad of a guy. I really don't think he's that bad of a guy. I think he just got caught up in it. Cause my understanding is. What were you, a goat? A goat sucking, sucking idiot goat, blogger. No, goat blowing idiot blogger whose mother doesn't love him or something. So anyway, that happened. That was the thing. And apparently, apparently, my understanding that it's been so long now. My understanding of the situation was when they pitched the original Transformers movie, the G one movie. It was supposed to be based on G one. They wrote it like a G one movie, and Michael Bay had his way with it. Like it was going to be a G1 Transformers movie. And then Michael Bay came in and said he wanted to like originally they were going to make Optimus Prime, George Clooney or some crazy stuff like that. And he didn't even look like Prime at all. Like he didn't turn to a semi truck and they were just like, what? yeah, it just came completely off the rails. Anyway, so that has nothing to do with it. Yeah, let's get so, to the point. So the point is. Yeah, has they should, they, I'm surprised they didn't send the, the Pinkertons to you when you were to, complaining. Right. So they said the, the producer came after you and said, The producer came Sorry, after. that ended up being a big thing. Anyway. Uh, but like Hasbro is just not in a good place right now. They've been laying off a lot of their employees. They've been having all kinds of trouble with collectors. They keep jacking the prices of the toys up. The quality is declining. They took the, the windows off the packaging. A lot of collectors like myself included, like to keep some of the toys in the package so you can display them and they don't get all dusty. And uh, they took that away. Then they brought it back. Well, they argued it was for it was for like environmental reasons. It wasn't. However, the plastic was always recyclable. It was because they were they were cheaping out the paint jobs. They were putting in. I guess apparently people were complaining they got figures that looked like dog shit that were missing pieces, but they were sealed in the box, hoping you wouldn't notice. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so they've been having a lot of problems. They got called out by Bank of America for overproducing magic cards. Um, they, so they, they end up in a landfill. But they, they wound up in a landfill. And look, they, they've been trying. I guess my thing is like Hasbro has been putting on this facade uh, and Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast has been putting on this facade of being this progressive community oriented company for years. And they've been doubling, tripling down on it with like, look, now we've got non-binary Transformers. Look, we're going to take all the racist stuff out of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, look, so, we have potato people. Look, we have potato persons. Oh, look, if you're going to this convention and you want to ask a question about the, the little army men, the G.I. Joes, yeah, you got to give your pronouns first. A room full of a lot of ex-military. Ex ex-military. You know, so your pronouns yeah, right, before I, right. I, I, just so I feel comfortable. So they're going, they're putting on this facade. Again, this is just like Disney. Meanwhile, they're hiring the fucking Pinkertons to go after a guy with less than 4,000 subs on YouTube to harass him because he got a set of cards a week or two early. What the actual fuck? What else? Who else did they harass? They said that it wasn't, it wasn't the first time. Yeah. So here's here's an update on, on this that situation. That was the point of this whole video. It was. <laughs> I'm sorry. It I'm was. just trying to bring it back. Um, yeah, so they said this is talking about the, the uh, situation. The guy's name is Dan Cannon. Um, he's old school MTG. We talked about him before. And uh, he revealed about 75% of the limited release set because he just happened to get them early. Which most of us would do if you had and become a good guys. Look, here's what's in it, you know? Yep. So they didn't waste any time. He released the videos on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and the Pinkerton agents arrived on Saturday you know, morning. Technically, he could have sold them or done something else and made money or did something else. You know, it was probably worse, and he didn't. Yeah, I mean, four thousand subs. I mean, I'm not trying to be. A, I'm not trying to be a jerk at all. I'm just saying, at four thousand subs, he's not making a lot of money on YouTube. No. You know, if he's making any money, he might not even be monetized. He might not have the watch time to get. So it's like he wasn't doing it for that reason, or he could have, yeah, just flipped them on eBay or something mm -hmm. and be like, hey, I got these cards early. According to Wizards of the Coast, um, so they didn't deny it. According to Wizards of the Coast, the company sent an investigator as part of an investigation into the unauthorized distribution and disclosure of embargoed product. And only after again, and when you sign an embargo, the only people who are agreeing to the embargo would have been the the distributor. The individual purchasers 
of the items, if it's out on the shelves and the store sells it to you, it is not your fault. You are not, you did not agree to it to embargo anything. The store did. Yeah, so this is this is where it gets interesting because a lot of people in the comments, I, 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 in the previous video, were like, some people were like, well, you have stolen goods. So it's like, no, he didn't. If he bought No, he them, paid for them. They sent it to him. They were not stolen. We have gotten things sent to us early. We have gotten, I mean, because we, again, not to say too much, but we do have other businesses. And sometimes you get stuff earlier than the street date. A lot of times you do, but you, you get it with the understanding, again, as the distributor, you get it with the understanding that you're not allowed to put it out on the shelves. Not you're until not, the street date. You're not allowed to do reviews of it. You're not allowed to do, you know, you can say, hey, we're getting this in, but it's in the we've, stock. Market. We've been to like Walmart before and something came out early on the shelves and you go to buy it and then they, they won't even run in the system because it wasn't it, even the it's system. like, oh, it's not supposed to be out yet. We can't sell it to you until this date. And we've had that happen many times. That actually happened with uh, when the Masters of the Universe, the Origins first came out. Mm -hmm. I remember I'm like, oh, they have them. They're sitting there. They're right there on the pallet. They're getting ready to put them out. And I asked the guy said, oh hey, yeah i remember this can yeah. i can i get these because they're not punched i want the skeletor and he-man can i get them and he went to go scam he was like nah the street date's like next week or something and i said so i can't get them now he's like no they're not even in the system we can, we literally cannot sell them we have them on the pallet but we're not putting them out today they, yeah. they came in and, and i'll be taking them to the back again yeah yeah so yeah i mean but the but the agreement for the embargo is with the contractor with the distributors they are not with the purchaser and if a company sells it to you and in this case he was given it i don't know if, i can't tell what was from the Hasbro themselves or from no, the, I think the it was I think it was distributor. I think so the distributor out. accidentally sent him, probably grabbed the wrong one and sent him the wrong one because he said it was very similar in the title. And, and and I'm sure it wasn't even probably intentional. But they did not have an agreement to embargo anything. Anyway. So, so they said they only sent they only sent the investigator into the uh, unauthorized distribution after several phone calls went unanswered. Well, if a number came up that said Pinkerton thugs or spam. Some people don't answer numbers they don't know. I don't answer Because them. a lot of times numbers will come up and you're like, I don't know that number, but it's a local number and you answer it. Oh, and God, it's, it's car we're here, insurance. Yeah, we're here about your car, car insurance. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, well, no. Um, or just people just fishing to see what, mm -hmm. like, and you can tell, like, you answer it and there's silence and then you can hear yourself, like, being transferred to somebody. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh -huh. It always comes up as a local number. Plus, well, you know? why, would somebody, why would you answer that? Like, if, if they're calling you... Oh, like you, the thugs, Hasbro thugs are calling. Maybe yeah, I should answer I mean, this. I mean, Maybe I should answer this. They're going to be like, who? Who? You know? Yeah, what? People, like, yeah, that's stupid. The investigator of the company says visited him and asked that he reach out to us as part of our investigation and return the embargo product and packaging. It's better they said he took the pack up with him. Yeah, we're, replace it, we're replacing all the unreleased product with the product he intended to purchase. Right, so, so it wasn't admitting. stolen. Yeah. Yeah, Good, so, because uh, people like us were like, wait, you better give him something. You can't just take it and not give him his money back. So uh, in an email exchange with io9, which would be Gizmodo now, uh, Cannon confirmed the statements he made on the video and added additional context, stating that as soon as my wife answered the door, they aggressively asked for me by my full name, announced themselves as the Pinkertons. I'd be like, so? Which I'm familiar with. Okay. Yeah. I'd have been like, and? Did they have a ball bat or Do something? Do you have a crowbar? warrant? Do you have a warrant? Said they were there to recover stolen goods. It wasn't, but, but, but stolen goods. Okay, but by Hasbro's own answer, that wasn't stolen. Uh, yeah, Hasbro Hasbro just said they weren't stolen. So after his wife asked them to wait outside, Can says they forced themselves at least partially through the door and prevented her from closing the door. I'd be like, if you don't move your damn foot, I'm calling the cops. I'd fucking sue Hasbro at this point. I'd be, like, I'd be calling the police like, at that point. Like, you could, if... Things went south because he had dogs and a wife and if he had kids or something that traumatizes kids, like you basically showed up at my door like I'm a terrorist and you're the FBI, you know, like I'd what? Be like with your pink over cards, over cards. You are a, 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 a hired agency. You are not, you don't have the authority. You do not have the authority to, to keep the door open. Yep. I've been calling the cops and being like, there are people here claiming they're from Pinkerton and they're threatening us and they will not let me shut my door. When Cannon got to the door, he assertively moved everyone outside, told the agents they needed to treat the cans with more respect. They did eventually dial it back and became more civil. Uh, he didn't have to talk to them at all. If they're not, if they're not federal agents with a warrant, you, you, don't, have, uh, you don't have any obligation. In fact, this is uh, Grums. He worked on World Warcraft. He's like, Pinkertons are not the cops. If Watsy sends these LARPers to your home, you can tell them to get off your property. That is 100%. True, you you can. Um, you aren't sure. Call the cops. Yeah, Wizard says it strongly refutes this depiction of events, which contradicts both the report from the investigation. Oh, they're going to tell them they they shoved their way into their house. <laughs> under no circumstances would we ever instruct any employer or contracted agency to intimidate. Well, then why did you hire the Pinkertons? Because that's what they're known for. I mean, let's be honest here. 
I mean, we don't instruct an agency to do that, but we're going to send private investigators to your house to, to shake you down for cards yeah. because you didn't answer the phone. So this, and he said that they were threatening him with copyright infringement. He could get up to 10 years of jail time and $200,000 in fines. Any other company, including, we've actually had run-ins with Mattel. We've had run-ins with uh, Paramount. We've had run-ins with a couple different companies, right? Uh, DreamWorks, uh, because we do the blog, we do videos, and sometimes we just don't know, like, hey, you can't post that because whatever. For whatever sometimes you can totally post it. Sometimes you can't. They over, uh, they over assert. Yeah, or they will go to your ISP or something to try to get something <laughs> taken down. Yeah, well, that's why we our ISP isn't in the United States that's anymore. That's why we're hosted offshores, yes. Um, so we've had dealings with them. Uh, and usually it comes in the form of an email or a copyright strike or, or something. Or they went deliberately after a host. Or something like that, right? Never, never to the extent of, of sending a thug to your house to intimidate you and your wife and, and make, and make threats. threats like that. Like, this is absolutely batshit crazy. Your copyright infringing our product that's coming out in a couple of weeks because we somebody gave you a package by mistake and you, you know... Yeah, so now here's the thing. They said they called. He says they didn't want to call me before showing up because they didn't want me to have time to react and get rid of the cards. So, yeah, Wizards is well, that makes, a actually makes sense. totally different story. Um, according to Wizards, the company initiated several phone calls. Well, again, people don't answer their phones now because of robocalls. Yeah, but his makes sense. They Because if he, they threatened him, he could have said, well, I don't have the cards. Yeah, he's, he said he believes he received the cards because of a distribution error. He says he was not aware of any embargo on revealing these cards. You didn't, you didn't sign one. Yeah, he says YouTubers frequently open early boxes and are allowed to show off cards early. He claims he purchased these cards for about 4000 under the impression they were an already released set March of the Machines. There would have been no restrictions or rules given right. to him at because any he, point. Because he wasn't the one who got it mixed up. Yeah. Uh, simple email or phone call from Wizards and I would have cooperated. Yeah, they could have even, you know, done something through YouTube. They could have been like, hey, take this down. This is copyrighted stuff. You know, it would have gotten reversed. But even sure. then, it's copyrighted. Yeah, it would have got reversed because you didn't sign an embargo. You didn't agree to an embargo. So, yeah. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This alleged incident with Canon isn't the first time the Pinkertons have been dispatched to retrieve Magic the Gathering cards. Sources who were unwilling to share their names for fear of retribution by wizards told... They're going to know who it was. Yeah, I know, right? Told io9 that back in 2017, Pinkerton were sent out to investigate the theft of an uncut sheet of foil cards from uh, the expansion. Was it uh, Exelon? Exelon? I don't know. I don't, I don't play know. Magic, uh, so I don't know. Um, they said the company was transparent about the illegal nature of the theft. So that was that was theft. That's different. That's different. Um, another source told io9 after the sheet was stolen, someone attempted to sell it at the game store where they're working. Again, that is that is if you're stealing it and selling it, then yes, that's illegal. If if somebody effed up and gave you the wrong thing, then that's not and and you did not sign any papers or any kind of that that's not illegal. Um, the store immediately recognizes stolen property and called wizards. Later, the source alleges a Pinkerton detective came to the store and began conducting interviews with the staff. During the interviews, the agent said that Wizards had a lot of these sorts of problems and the Pinkertons had been used multiple times to help solve them. There are connections between Wizards and the Pinkerton agency. Robin uh, M. Klimek, who has been the director of security risk management at Hasbro for 12 years, was previously the director of supply chain security practice at Pinkerton. The current manager of global investigations is also formerly well, from that's also Pinkerton. Convenient. Pinkerton has not responded to a request for comment about these incidents. Oh yeah, I'd love to hear what they have to say. So Hasbro has Pinkerton thugs working for them, basically. So what they do is when they can't, they don't even try to go through other channels. They just call Pinkerton. They just call it Pinkerton. Sounds like, oh, we called you. You didn't answer the phone. So our next step is to obviously go to there and escalate it that far. So, I mean, the stolen sheet, I understand. Yeah. But like this guy didn't steal anything. And, and then Hasbro give, are giving him cards because we brought up, well, you have to give him his money back or give him something because you took his money. Then you, they'd be the thieves. So here's where it's going to really hurt them. Okay. Wizards especially. <laughs> this is funny. Troll Lord Games. Troll Lord Games. Oh, I love this. Today, we're here at uh, Troll Lord Games. Did not hire any Pinkertons. You're welcome. So, yeah. Uh, people have been standing for Wizards of the Coast for years. And then the OGL debacle happened where it turned out that Hasbro's going to Hasbro. They're going to be a company. And they were trying to pull a fast one on content creators and steal their stuff. 
that had a lot of backlash. Oh, we're sorry. We're not like that. We're the good guys. Honestly, we're let's take some more racism out of D&D. Oh, guys, we're good. We're going to you know use proper pronouns at the convention. We're good guys. And then after all this shit and after they're getting all this shit, then they turn around and send the fucking Pinkertons to some YouTuber's house to collect cards that were not even stolen. And they've done it multiple times. How the Allegedly. F- Sorry, I have to say that for. How the fuck can you defend this company? I mean, this is what blows. I don't know. Like, I mean, this is like, and it's always the people that put on the biggest show about how good they are that are doing the shittiest things. Because it's always. It's called projection. It's called projection. So this is a company that's all like on the surface being like, look how progressive we are. Look how anti-racist we are. Look how, you know, inclusive we are as a community. And then they turn around and stick it to their fans over and over and over and over again. And to the point where like, I wouldn't even expect Disney to, to resort to sending the freaking, you know, Pinkertons to your house. Can't wait till they say anybody's a woman. Let's drink some Bud Light. <sighs> so here's, here's the blowout from this. Again, Hasbro had already caused a lot of damage to themselves and the Wizard brand especially. And there's been a lot of talk, you know, when the mainstream media is even paying attention and being like, you know, you guys were overproducing magic cards. The OGL thing is yeah, a the, disaster. The, then, then there was the, yeah, the whole thing where they were, yeah, we had the card showing up at recycle centers and landfills. And they were making sure that after people found full cases that they were shredding them first and everything else. Yeah. Can't let anybody have these things for free. So, and they're they're betting, I did a video last week where Hasbro is betting heavy on Wizards and Dungeons and Dragons and Magic to basically make up the deficit in toy sales because they've alienated their toy customers at this point too. And um, I watched a video yesterday, uh, it was a retro blasting and it was a very good video and he was very honest and he's like, I mean, this is a guy who eats, sleeps, breathes toys and he, I guess he does a lot of Star Wars reviews and Marvel reviews. And he's like, I have literally just bought my last Hasbro action figure. He's like, as if the quality control wasn't enough reason. Yeah, the quality's been horrible lately. As as if that wasn't enough reason to leave. He said, this is a company that will literally, a toy company, will literally send thugs to your house. And he's like, I can't condone that. And he said, look, you can do whatever you want to do. But he's like, I'm shutting off the money to them. Um, And I think a lot of players are shutting off the money to them. Uh, You know, D&D players, Magic players. I think because people said the D and D movie was actually pretty decent. I think they probably would have had double the box office take had they not pissed the fans off right before that movie came out. Mm-hmm. And the damage is done, and they keep stepping on the rake. Like I have, this company is on a suicide run. That I mean, they literally want to destroy themselves. Well, it didn't help that they had one of their people involved telling everybody that the film emasculates men for the heck of no. it. That didn't help either. But yeah, but they're basically, their attitude, I think, when it comes to the toy, toy lines, is, well, they're going to be kids, and kids don't give a shit if the paint job looks like crap. They're for kids, and, and kids... No, they're not, and, but the no, no, but $25 I'm saying, Marvel I figures I guarantee you, like people are probably like, yeah. well, you need to do better, and they're like, well, it's just for kids, and then they charge oh, up the prices, they charge you more, give you worse quality, and say, well, because it's for kids, and kids aren't going to care. It's like, yeah. like hell they aren't. Yeah. Uh, good. Think of Watsy and their parent company. They don't have a reputation for unilateral ham fist attempts to run roughshod over their customer base. Huh? It's not just that. I mean, at this point, they're like sending goons to people's houses uh, over f- fucking cards. I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm floored. Like, look, we've, we've seen attempts by companies to try to shut YouTubers up. We've been on the receiving end of it. But I never in a million years could have imagined a toy company of all of all these companies, a toy company sending thugs to your house over cards. What yeah, the Yeah, we've had Mattel fuck? Mattel they were the ones who went to our our host and try and got things taken down. And it was yeah. funny because it wasn't even hosted. The pictures weren't even hosted on our site. They were we they were linked from somebody else. We didn't even have them hosted on our site. And they caused us a bunch of trouble. But they didn't go as far as to, you know, they didn't call us first or anything either. But they didn't go as far as to sending people to our house. No, the last time um, we had a takedown request. I'll tell you what it was. It was on Clownfish TV. Uh, we had one of our writers do a story on the upcoming Seth Rogen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Mm-hmm. And somebody had uh, some shots of the toys so we knew what the characters were going to look like, and they posted it on Twitter. And he, all he did was, you know, repost the tweet with the. Which we didn't host anything. We didn't host anything, but we actually had Paramount reach out to us and say, "Hey, you have to take this image down." Now, the reason they reached out to us 
is because they probably couldn't go to our host because, like I said, we made sure after the Mattel incident, and this is about 10 years ago, that we host all of mm-hmm. our sites offshore. So the DMCA takedown. They don't, don't just go to your host and take your site they down. They can't. When you didn't even do anything wrong. Yeah. They asked us. And that was over Monster High dolls. It was over Monster High dolls. Uh, this was over Ninja Turtles. And I said, fine. Yeah, you asked and you were respectful. I will take it down. But just so you know, we legally don't have to take it down. But I will do it. Oh, and you just take the tweet down and then it would have yeah. taken the pictures off. Because the tweet was unavailable. They went to Twitter. So there was no like, reason for us to take anything no, down. No, they just wanted to try to wipe any record of it. So, But I did put on the article. I went back and edited. Editor's note. Uh, we were contacted by Paramount's legal department, and we had to take the pictures down because, you know... They're, yeah, we're not letting you get away with that yeah, about, so about, you know, telling people what you did. Um, but there we go, guys. So this is Hasbro. This is Wizards of the Coast. This is the uh, company you've been standing for all these years. The company that uh, so many people have gotten into fights with me over, saying that they're the good guys. This is who they are. They argued that? They did. They oh, said wow. that Wizards are the good guys, and they can't wait till, like, with the whole TSR situation, they're like, oh... You know, Wizards are the good guys. I can't wait till they get rid of those OSR players and you old old head racist. Uh, before they started changing all the rules and yeah, saying and they were going to steal their stuff and that, yes, that then they changed yes. their team. Then when the OGL right. thing happened, they're like, yeah. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.